This is Carol Lynn with Hollywood First Look Features, and tonight I'm here at the 2019 She Rocks Awards, where Terry Nunn, Macy Gray, and Lisa Loeb will be honored tonight. Let's take a first look. The She Rocks Awards recognize women who stand out as role models in the music industry. The seventh annual award show was held at the House of Blues in Anaheim during the 2019 NAMM show. This year's award recipients included Terry Nunn of Berlin, Grammy Award winning singer songwriter Lisa Loeb, Dill Crevins, Vice President of Tech 21, and Lynette Sage, Art Director at Reverb. You know, we, we take nominations, people submit on our website, and we read through all of them and think about them, but we also, we just sort of try to honor a wide variety of women from different roles in the industry and so we'll reach out to people that we know or we have a great advisory board that might suggest somebody that is just so inspiring so it comes from a lot of different areas and input. I remember there was a time when I kind of thought like why does it have to be a, a separate thing for women like when Lilith Fair came out I'm like why can't you know why does it have to be women in rock whatever now I kind of understand why there needs to be it's not putting us in a little pink you know box, a little pink ghetto, whatever, and saying like, this is your only lane. I just feel like, you know, the playing field isn't totally equal. And you know, like, so people will go like, why isn't there a He Rocks Award? It's like, cause you don't need one. Cause that's called like the Grammys basically, right? <laughs> but you know, just having our own little special moment and, and the fact that, yeah, it's not just women here, men attend, there'll be men presenting tonight. I, I think it's a good platform evener, if that's a word. And you know, maybe, uh, why not celebrate what we do? Why not have a night for us? Well, they, they had me do it two years ago, and I was really in shock. I'm like, uh, but I'm local news. I'm not in the music biz, but my husband is, and I do mentor some artists on the side for a hobby. So I thought, well, I guess I could squeak in the door. It felt great. I thought, you know, it, it's an incredible honor to, you know, be in this business and then to be recognized and to be called out. You know, I'm really proud of what I do, and I. I love what I do. Uh, we manufacture musical equipment for guitar players, bass players, and uh, recording studios. So we work with a lot of artists, famous, not so famous, fabulous. They're all fabulous people. You know, we work with a lot of different levels of players. First of all, we all know that all of us here love music, but what I love more than music is women and supporting women. So I'm really excited to be here. I think that when women are together and united in mind and, and not trying to pull each other down, which I think we've all been really like a lot better about, I think there's there's nothing that we can accomplish together. So I'm really excited to support my, my fellow musicians. When they called you and said that you were going to be honored tonight, talk to me about how that felt. I'm still in shock. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, because it's women. And getting honored by women that, that I might have had an effect on women is, I don't know, that's just different. It's just special. And, and so many of the, you know, Pat Benatar, Shaka Khan, Melissa Etheridge, these are women I grew up being inspired by. So to be part of that, you know, we're going to see a lot of women even in the business world of music, which is great because when I started, there were even less in the business world of music. Now there's a lot more and, and it's easier and so many paved the way for me, you know, Hart uh, and, and Nancy Wilson and, and Grace Slick and Stevie Nicks and uh, God, I mean, so many that, that made it possible for me to even have a career. So. It is, it's really such an honor to be here. Um, you know, every day I work in an office and um, I try to make the world a little bit more musical every day and then you come here and you see all of these people that, um, that in one way or another you might have helped or you know, you've given a platform to and it's, it's truly an honor. You know, I really felt what felt proud and happy to be part of this community. It's a really great group of, of musicians and women in the music industry and people in the industry behind the scenes as well. And um, the more experience I get in the world of music, it's not just about playing the music, it's about being part of a community, part of people who understand each other's lives and we can support each other. I don't always like su uh, s separating myself out as a woman in music, but that being said, it's nice to be part of a supportive group of people who really do look out for each other and learn from each other. 
Speaking of a supportive group of people, two of your friends are presenting your award to you tonight. How did that make you feel? I mean, it was amazing. It was so, of course I would present to Lisa. She's my neighbor. We worked, here we are, we work together. She's my neighbor. She's a fierce advocate for songwriters yes. and artists' rights. I will do anything in a minute for her. I don't love separating women out from the greater community of everybody, but I do feel, I, in my body, I feel a real connection with the women that I work with, the women I'm inspired by, and I think it really makes an impact on girls coming up in the music industry and being a great example for what they can do and what is possible, and they can even do more than what we're doing, you know, but it's a great example. I didn't have that when I was growing up so much. There was a handful of women that I was interested in going to see. It was funny, Cindy Lauper, I heard, was at this, at the, um, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum. And I went there too and I was like, oh, and I love guy bands. I love The Who and The Police and the Bowie and all these people. But she, she was saying there should be more women. And I was like, but there weren't necessarily more women. Yes, we should highlight them, but let's continue to encourage new girls and women to, to keep doing what they're doing. Because there are a lot of younger kids who don't even think twice if they're a girl or a boy or whatever they are. They don't think twice about playing instruments or plugging in equipment. They just do it. So hopefully we can continue that tradition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment below, give me a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. My name is Carolyn, and you're watching Hollywood First Look Features.